my lovely kids welcome back to another lesson last time you learned about kitchen hygiene today you will be learning cleanliness of the cook cooking utensils surroundings and refuse disposal how do you take care of these things make sure cleanliness of the cook the cook must be clean at all times. The cook must wash his or her hand regularly. She must keep her fingernails well trimmed and clean. And also cover her hair before she begins to cook to avoid flying of the hair. Always wear clean clothes and apron. Avoid coughing, body stretching, or sneezing in the kitchen. As a good cook, you need to put all those things in place so that the food will be healthy. As a cook, you need to consider some certain things for you to be a good cook. And people will definitely recommend and praise you. Cleanliness of, of the cooking utensils. All these utensils have the cutlery supports, those materials we use to cook in the kitchen. The kitchen floor and all our surfaces should be clean before and after use to prevent flies and rats. As a good cook, when you are done cooking, you need to mop the floor. Make sure that the floor is free from those particles. And also, make sure that you cover and dispose of kitchen refuse immediately. Wash plates and utensils as soon as possible. Don't allow fly to start perching on those things. And they are not heavy when it is seen. And when you keep them clean, you, you, you help to avoid rats, flies. You need to wash your plate immediately after use. Kitchen napkin or clothes should be washed clean immediately after use. Covering the window and door of the kitchen with nets to keep fly out. Removing cobwebs, washing the windows, the floor, the cupboard, and the stove every week. If you use the stove, if you use the gas, you need to also clean it up. Covering of leftover food and storing them away properly. All these things need to be put in place for us to have a good kitchen hygiene. Our surrounding must be kept clean especially those material we use and also our window net have said it before it needs to be taken care of properly clean it up and when you are done with the napkin wash and and dry it up proper refuse disposal how do you dispose your refuse kids refuse is not supposed to be kept long in the kitchen when you are doing that the house will be smelling household refuse can be managed in different ways a good refuse bin must be strong and durable it should have well fitted cover at home must be empty regularly for us to avoid flies, pests, and other dangerous insects. They should be cleaned with soapy water to which disinfectant has been added. Our refuse bin must be thoroughly taken care of so that flies, cockroaches, Will be far from our home. Refuse bin should be left to dry in the sun.
before and for the use. Immediately you are done washing, allow it to be dried in the sun before you can decide to put it inside for further use. So taking care of a refuse bin is also necessary in order for us to have kitchen hygiene all this thing needs to be put in place if our refuse is not properly taken care of our surrounding and our kitchen will not be safe especially when it comes to smelling and for us to have a good refuse disposal we need to what give it to those that are in charge of refuse disposal they also call them refuse management recap cleanliness of the cook the cook should be able to put on a clean apron and cover her hair and her fingernails months beneath and also the kitchen utensil and the environment and how we dispose our waste. All these are necessary for us to have a good kitchen hygiene. Activity time. Let's go to our activities time. It's time for us to answer some questions. Who does the washing of plates and pots in your house? Who does it? Are you sure? Where some of us do, but why some of us don't involve in house choice. So please, kids, make sure you help mommy in the kitchen. Whether you are a boy or a girl, you need to help mommy, not only the female. Where do you throw your refuse? This is another important aspect. Don't litter your refuse anyhow. Learning is fun. So interesting. Keep learning. Thanks for watching. See you in my next class. Bye.